In this tutorial, we'll take a look at some ways you can view, rotate, delete, and download images from your image library. I'm here in the images section of my eDesign library, and if I'd like to view an image at a larger size, I can click on the preview icon here, this magnifying glass in the lower left-hand corner of the image thumbnail. When I click that, it opens the image at a larger size and allows me to scroll through the images that I'm currently viewing in my library. When you're ready to close preview, you can click the X in the upper right corner. You can also open preview simply by double clicking on an image and it opens it up in preview. Another view that you have available to you is the data view. And I'll click on data view here to reveal the images in this sort of table format. And in this format, you see a thumbnail of the image. You see the original name of the image from when it was uploaded. You could also click to change that here if you wanted. It tells you the maximum dimensions that this image could print on the page at high quality, the size of the image on disk, who uploaded the image, and when it was uploaded. I'll switch back to tile view. If you rotate your camera when taking a picture so that it's a vertical image, and then you upload that image straight into eDesign, the image will come in on its side, and you'll need to rotate those images either in the library or after you place them on the page. We'll look at how you can rotate those images in your image library now. I'm going to search for a group of photos that I know need some help. And this group of photos were taken with the camera held vertically. Makes for a great shot, but these images probably aren't going to be printed on the page in this way, so we want to rotate them around. When you select an image in your image library, you'll see these arrows in the lower right. Rotate clockwise and rotate counterclockwise. I'll click this button here so that the image thumbnail will rotate around so that the image is oriented in the proper direction. Let's go to this image. This image needs to be rotated counterclockwise, so I'll click here. Select this image and it needs to be rotated clockwise. Now this image is already in use on a page. In other words, someone has placed this on a page and saved the file. It may be that they rotated the image once they got it onto the page in eDesign. In this case, it is in use, and so I do not see the option to rotate this image. You can't rotate an image that's already saved on a page. As a regular staff member in eDesign, I have the ability to delete images that I uploaded that are not currently being used on a page. I'm going to go to a group of photos that I know I uploaded, and when I find photos that I uploaded and hover over them, I'll see this red delete button in the upper right corner. If I click the delete button, eDesign will ask me if I do indeed want to delete the image, and I'll click yes, and the image has now been removed from the image library. I'm going to click clear to go back to the full image library. Most of these photos are images that I did not upload as a staff member, so when I hover over the image, I don't have the ability to delete that photo because I did not upload it. Now let's say what would happen if I did delete a photo that I didn't really intend to delete or I changed my mind about deleting it. I can go up to the filter menu and come down and choose deleted this week. I'll now be shown all of the recently deleted images and I can find the image that I want to undelete and click the green plus button in the upper right corner and that will place that image back in the eDesign library. The last thing we'll look at is how you can download an image from your eDesign library to your local computer. There may be times when you upload an image from a USB drive or a camera and you don't keep the original copy, but you would like to get a copy of it for editing in Photoshop or for using in a slideshow or something like that. I'm going to click clear to go back to my full image library. And if I find an image that I would like to download to my local computer, I simply right click on it or control click on it if you're on a Mac with a one button mouse and you'll see this context menu. And in this context menu, you'll see Save Image As. We'll select that, then tell eDesign where you would like to save the file, and click Save. That image will then be downloaded to your local computer where you can edit it or use it in another program. And that's the basics of viewing, rotating, deleting, and downloading images in eDesign. The image organization system in eDesign is both powerful and flexible. It centers around the use of section and keyword tags applied to images. You can use these section and keyword tags to search for just the images you need. I'm here in the images section of the library. 
Along the top, we see the search and filtering controls. In the first area, we can search the keywords applied to images. For instance, I want to find some images tagged with Jesse Smith. So I'll type in Jesse Smith and hit enter or return. And eDesign shows me just those photos. I'll click the clear button to clear the search. You can also use the pull down menu to select one of the keywords. For instance, I'll choose Nicole Peters to show all the images that are tagged with Nicole Peters. I'll click clear to clear the search. The next option over allows you to show just the images associated with a particular section tag. The section list is a master list of sections and topics that are created by your advisor and editors. For this example, I'll pull down the list and choose seniors and eDesign will show me just the images associated with the senior section. I'll click to clear the search. The next option over is the filter by control. Using this pull down menu will allow me to see just the unused images, the used images, images that have already been saved on a page, images without keywords, my images, which means just images that I have uploaded, recent images, showing images that were uploaded in the last 10 days, and images deleted this week. These filters can be even more powerful when combined with one of the other searches. Let's say I was working on the senior division page and I searched for images associated with the senior section. But I wanted to focus my attention on just those images that have not yet been used in the book. So I'll go to filter by and choose unused. Now I'm looking at the senior images that are currently unused. This helps me focus on the images available to me. Or let's try this. I'm working on a spread for health and fitness. So I'll choose the health and fitness section then I'll add a filter for my images. Now I'll see just the health and fitness images that I uploaded. All of these same search and filtering controls are available to you when you're working in page design. Open the images section of the library panel and you can search by keyword and section and filter the images in the same way as in the full library. This makes it very easy for you to find just the images you need for your page. And that's how you search and filter images in eDesign.